we're back working on this um, kind of bass heavy loop on Bespoke, which is a free modular door for PC, Mac, and Linux. And I think I'm starting to get the hang of things now. Again, I probably will make mistakes, so please let me know if you see me do one. We've got quite a complex, well, semi complex kind of bass patch going on here. I thought it'd be cool to get some chords in now. So I'm just going to turn off all of the bass related things. Let's go ahead and um, put in some notes. So we'll go O oscillator, uh, N for note sequencer, and I would like a chord, please. Chorder. Okay, this should be fairly straightforward. So we'll put this in here, put this in here, give ourselves another gain. I really need to figure out how to make all this a lot neat and a lot neater. So here is our gain. Let's drag this into here, turn it on. Let's clear this. Put in a note here. Let's make a minor. Cool, let's bring this right down. I would like to give this an envelope. Let's filter here. So let's um, go and add an audio effect. Gosh, there's so much stuff that I haven't played with yet. Gee, golly, gosh. <laughs> Where's uh, envelopes? Here we go. Okay. Can I connect this to this? Will that trigger the envelope? Yes. Now I can put the envelope on the filter. Yes. Okay, so we want to bring the sustain decay down. Let's duplicate this OSC, holding down the ALT key, drag this in here as well, and here, both of these please, bring this down an octave, so half, oh, we don't have the envelope on this filter, I need to shift drag him, oh there we go, that's what we got, okay that's cool. Change these to saws. I like it, but I'm also going to add myself a bike wad, and we will have these going into this. And have this coming out so we can kind of morph that around. I find those little uh, audio boost distortions interesting. So now we have this filter here, give it some cue. Uh, that looks like a lot. And we'll have this morphing over a couple of bars, maybe four bars. And we can LFO this, this. LFO this. Bring the offset so it starts quite low. I want to get some noise in here. Let's bring this up here. In for noise. Noise of fire. Multiple. I don't want that. Can I do white noise? Synths. Does this have a noise option? Yes, it does. So we'll just do one more of these. Again, we'll apply this to the cutoff and we'll change this to noise. Not really hearing anything. Let's just get this straight into here for now. Let's get rid of this. Oh, it's because I don't have the note in there. I will turn the volume down so we can connect this back to here now. Is there a general volume? I mean, there is, yeah, we'll bring that down just because it could be really loud.
Let's bring the volume up now. Can't hear shit. Uh, filters down. Okay, now I can connect this to the filter. Instead of the filter, let's connect this to the volume. Actually, let's not connect this at all. I accidentally got rid of this as well. Oh, no, this should be working here. Yeah? Oh, the volume. We can do our little envelope here if we want. Now, let's do something a little bit, <laughs> a little bit different. I want to delay some of those. So first up, let's get ourselves a delay. Is there a delay, a delay in an effect shape? Okay. So let's go and put a send, like so. Okay, so the output of this is going into the send. That's going to the main gain. I want the occasional note to go over here to the effect chain. So I need to put something in that probably syncs up with a sequencer that sends a pulse. Maybe. I mean, we could just put a gain. And we could feed this to the gain. And then this to the effect chain. So now we should get the delay coming through. We'll make sure the delay is okay. Okay. Cool. So I'm going to put in a... What would be the easiest sequencer to put in here? Should we try a circle? I'm not sure how this works, but we'll give it a go. So we can change our grid size. I would like this, mm, I don't think that's going to give us the resolution we need. I want this to be like quite long. Play sequencer, drum sequencer allows you to punch and to record polyrhythmic. Mm, let's just go for a note sequencer. We'll make it fourth notes. We'll make it real long. We'll clear everything. So there, that's where we'd want a dubbed out thing. And we want one here as well. So I somehow need this to trigger the gain to go up just for that period. What's going to happen here? No, nothing. So I'm assuming this is a pulse. So let's look in the pulse menu. Audio to pulse, note to pulse. Okay. So now we're going to get a pulse out of here. That's sending a pulse. Okay, let's go ahead and add an envelope. Let's connect that to the envelope. Okay, so this envelope we want max sustain we want it to be open for quite a long time now let's see what happens if I attach this to the gain I'm gonna bring this up to one we'll do it like this okay that works that works that works Let's change the LFO a little bit of this bike quad. I 
Well, let's give this quite a lot of amount. I do need to change the LFO speed to something which isn't fourth notes, otherwise we're just always going to get the low notes. Let's go free mode. So how do I... Here's the, here's the rate. That's cool. We'll also give this. I did like the um, the, the, uh, the granulator to give it a stereo effect. I wonder if there's a stereo. No, something. So, is there a chorus? There's no chorus. We'll go for the granulator then. Ah, cool. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's get everything playing. Let's just do a little tidy up. Oh, whatever that'll do. Let's get the bass shit back in. <laughs> okay i'm happy with that loop i'm very very happy with the spoke please go check it out it is free or you can support the dev for five bucks 15 bucks show the guy some love that's a it's a masterpiece one person to create something like this is unreal Catch you later.